Hi. Welcome. Let me try to get in the camera for a second. Um, I've got this at a little different of a view today. I wanted you to see the grapevine um, that we're going to be doing today. And my name is Valerie Bennett, and I am with Val's Visions and Designs. Um, let me try to get you guys up over here so I can try to watch comments also. So bear with me just a second. Okay, I'm hoping that I'll be able to see comments. All right, I see my daughter's on here. Good morning, darling. Hope my baby girl is doing great. Um, okay, so this is a special order, a custom order for a customer of mine. Um, she wanted a grapevine wreath, and she sent me a picture. And let me get out of the view again. Come over here. I'm really hoping I can get you guys to see this without blocking it over and over again. Um, she wanted a grapevine she sent me a picture. She really wanted the buffalo plaid. And so my daughter had painted this sign for me quite some time ago. And it was so beautiful. And it had the buffalo plaid. So I decided that this buffalo plaid sign would be perfect for what she wanted. Um, she also wanted the colors in the ribbons to be the buffalo plaid. And she wanted sunflowers and daisies. Hey, Judy. Judy is on, and Judy is the one that I'm making this for. So, I cheated a little bit yesterday. Um, I went ahead and made the bows. Again, forgive me for going back and forth. Um, I made the bows, and I went ahead and added the greenery. And she originally didn't ask for the full wreath to be done, but I knew that I wanted to make one with the full um, grapevine done, so I went ahead and did the whole thing. And I have added my greenery. And the greenery that I have got in here is called Bush Gerber. Uh, I love the way that it's just whimsy and it's just going to be pretty when it's in the, in the breeze, you know, all of this little greenery. So I went ahead and put all of the greenery in and put on Casey's sign. And I went ahead and made the bows. Now, I added another bow down towards the bottom. I'm not 100% sure if uh, if, I, if we're going to leave it there. Judy, I'll let you decide since it's your wreath um, how you want it. So far, so good. Okay. Her other request was she wanted sunflowers and daisies. So, I've got, had to order, um, couldn't go and pick them out myself which is a little bit more difficult, but because um, you, know, you can't get to Hobby Lobby these days. So I had to order the flowers. Uh, I would have preferred to have been able to go and shop for them, but you know, hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. So the first things we're gonna start out with are the sunflowers. And you wanna just make sure that you push your leaves up to the top of the flower. These are gonna be our focal flowers. Then I have some smaller Gerber daisies in different colors. And then I have the little small white daisies, which will be our filler flowers. You always want to have your filler flowers. So, so far so good. So I'm again, I'm gonna try to stay out of the view. It's really tough putting this up on the stand and I may, you know, trying to get to it with blocking your view. Uh, so I think I'm gonna start off with a few of these sunflowers. And I, I tend to make keep the stems long, so until I'm sure where I want them to go. But then you can bend that stem so that it will place in there where you want it. So I'm going to start off with one right up here. We got a, our weather got a little bit cooler, and of course we had all those storms on Easter. Thank goodness we're all fine. We didn't have any. Uh, major issues here. I think my daughter said they lost power. Uh, don't you love the sunflowers? I know I do too. <laughs> I love sunflowers. So since they're our major focal flower, I'm going to start with most of them first. So I just kind of have to stand back and take a look 
and figure out where we want to put them. Uh, I tried to make sure that I had my greenery um, placed all the way around, and I think I'm going to have to reach over here to over the camera a few times, guys, and I'm sorry. We'll put one kind of matching right there. So we have our two sunflowers here, and then I'm going to put a sunflower probably down in here. They are so pretty. It doesn't take a lot of sunflowers before this one will be full. So, Judy, so far, is this what you were liking? Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Glad to see you. Um, until I joined um, Laura Jean's design group, that's still just a little bit long, I had really only done one grapevine. She has excellent tutorials, and I watched her do a few, and now I've done several, and I actually really love doing them. Um, they're easier on the hands, that's for sure, because you're not having to do a lot of twist ties. So I want this, I want this to look lively. I don't want it to look like it's fixed, like it's all just planted in there. Uh, I'm going to come and come up here, I think, with one right up under this bow. Let's see. I had two grapevines in stock, thank goodness. Uh, and so I didn't have to go anywhere to get those. And I think last night somebody was saying that Michaels was still doing curbside. Uh, I, I know the one in Columbus is. I'm not 100% sure if the one in Opelika is. Um, I'm in Opelika, Alabama. Let's get that one right up there. I put one little daisy right there in the center. I definitely know we're going to need some more color. Now, since Casey's sign has some pretty red, if it's all right, Judy, I thought I'd put a little red down here, too, just to give it another little color, a little more color. It's going to be kind of hard for me to see your comments because I have my back to you, but I'm going to turn around and look every now and then and see what your comments are. And forgive my head when I get in the camera, y'all. I apologize. I said I'm not still I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep this bow here um, I don't want it to cover up the flower but it's so pretty because of all the buffalo plaid maybe I can just trim that down that tail down a little bit all right let's use a peach a peach color here I said it's not going to take a lot of flowers because I put so much greenery in it already. We'll come in with one over here. Oh, I do. I have these. I love these. Um, they're just nice and, and flowy. I thought these would be really pretty. I'm doing good. Thank you. Hey, Vicki. Oh, you're in love already? <laughs> Thank you. These are so much fun. So this has got a lot of flow to it all by itself. Um, so let's see if we can put this in here without having to cut it any. We could maybe have it going more towards the inside. And that's going to bump the bow. You know, the one nice thing about grapevines is nothing's permanent on it until you glue it. So you can kind of take it and play with it. And then once you get it where you think you like it, then you can put your glue in. Let's see. Yeah, my husband actually got out today for the first time in a while. He, uh, he was going a little stir crazy, so he's gone to pick up prescriptions. You don't have to even get out of your car. So maybe we can try it over here. Well, I think I may have to cut it because it's just not going to do exactly what I wanted. Let's see what it would do if I came up here with it. Now, that could work. So 
Sorry, I'm going to try to keep this on this stand without it collapsing. It's going to be a little crooked because I'm, I'm moving it around. I think I'm going to go with that. I'll go with that right up there. Oh yeah, that's pretty. See how that's coming right out of that bow? And I even love that greenery. So since we did it on this side, um, I want to go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side. That kind of gives it that balance again. If you do, you know, what you do up, you want to do down. What you do at the top, you know, the left, the right. Uh, just to try to help keep some of that balance. So let me just walk in front of you guys for a second. Uh, today, I, I didn't even try to do my camera horizontal. Facebook has been so ugly about letting us do that. I've tried to figure out how to turn in a ticket and complain about it, but that hasn't happened. So I just went ahead and turned it the way they're, they're wanting it to go. Let's see, let's turn that a little bit. I like those. I like those a lot. I think those look really good. All right, walking in front of the camera again. So, hi, Isla. <laughs> How are you, Peggy? Hey, Anita, thank you. I am trying to watch some of those comments while we're working. Um, Judy, I just love these orange Gerbers. I think they're just going to give it a little bit of a color variety. And I know I'm going to want some down low. Uh, I know that I've been taught is to try not to let your flowers touch each other. And, and not to push everything straight in because then it's just going to look like it was just stuck there. So let's see what we need to do next. I know we're going to have to put a lot right in here. Maybe we can start off with a few of these little daisies. Let's see. Put some of the little daisies in here. That looks good. Yeah, this, this live is definitely out of my comfort zone, so uh, that's what we have to do, though. We have to practice, and I figure, well, you know, might as well do it on live. Okay, I know it's all crooked again. Hey, Kimber, it's good to see you. Thank you. You miss going to Hobby Lobby? Casey, I do, too. I know this is sad. Somebody's post the other day said, when the um, quarantine is lifted, where's the first place you're going to go? And I know a lot of people were being real good and saying church, and I said Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I know I'm having some Hobby Lobby withdrawal for sure. I definitely want to have some Hobby Lobby. But, uh, yeah. Thank God for online shopping, though. Get our get our shopping fix online. Though it's not quite the same. Yes, a cute little daisy right there above that bow. Hey Judy, you think you're gonna want to keep this bow? Hey Flo from Chesterville, Virginia. Um, I think I'm gonna like that little line. So glad to be able to use it finally. Let's see. Try to get another flower down here in this other corner. I know we're gonna I'm gonna want to put some little ones down here too. 
I don't know about y'all. I just love creating. I think, uh, yeah, creating beautiful things is just what makes crafting so much fun. Let's go ahead and cut that ribbon down a little bit. It'll be easier for me to tuck it away. Now we want to keep it live. We want to keep it alive so the way your flowers should all move around in a circle. But when you're doing one that's kind of whimsy like this, where you have more flyaways, more going off, I don't think it's quite as necessary to follow that suit. I don't have a lot of white up top yet. Let's see. I love these ribbons. Judy, that was a real pretty wreath that you sent me. Uh, but I love that you also gave me the freedom to do what I thought, you know, I wanted to do. Let me get back out of the view. Who else we got on here this morning? Hey, Michelle. Michelle is on here from Rough River Reese. Um, she is who I got the uh, lemon sign from. The uh, lemon wreath that I gave away, Michelle made that. And her shop is on Etsy. And I have used a lot of signs from her. And she's always so good about getting me whatever it is that I want. I know we're going to need some little stuff popping out over there. Hmm. Let's see here. I said I want to keep it just nice and flowy. I want everything to just flow around together. Yeah, in the beginning, I was really nervous about making grapevines, but now I am I love making them. They're just a lot of fun. And uh, y'all, please remember to like and share. Yes, ma'am, I am hot gluing. Yes, yes. You love the ribbon, too? Thank you. Thank you, Judy. I just love the yellow and the black and white check together. Uh, I don't know if you can see that this this uh, yellow ribbon I have up here has got the little uh, black dots. So it's like a yellow and, and black Swiss dot. And I thought that looked really good. Now we may add some more greenery, you know, as we go through here. That's kind of something that you want to keep doing. You just don't want to have a lot of bare spots. So we might need a little something else up here, a little something through here. But with these flowers being as large as they are, it's really not going to take a lot of flowers. Just kind of have to take a step back and look. Here. I think I might like another one of these. That wasn't the one I wanted. Sorry again for my back, you guys. You've got you blushing. Aww. Thank you. I like I said, grapevines used to be my my big fear, but but not so much now. Um I think they're just fun making it come to life. And I said you're not committed to anything until you put it in the glue and then I've even seen people take it apart after the glue is in it and uh, pull stuff out of it and change it around. Sometimes it's 
just hard to tell exactly how it's going to look until you take a picture of it. And that's just not working right there. Let's see if it'll work a little further down. No. Nope. Not liking it. Maybe it worked down here. I'm not sure where to put this. It's got all that curl in it, which I really like. I'm not sure if I want to keep the leaf on it, though. Thinking, 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 thinking. Maybe on the inside. Sorry guys, back again. Let's try one through here. You know, when you get a grapevine, they are a mess. Um, I know I spent a good hour taking off, uh, cleaning it, because it'll be full of dead leaves and full of pine straw. So, you know, you want to make sure you give it a good trim. And that's what I did. I trimmed it. I'm just not finding anywhere I like this. It's got that natural curve. I want to take advantage of that. But yeah, it was a it was a mess. It was a shirt a mess. All right, we're going to put that back cuz I don't know what else I want to do with that. Come in with some little ones. But yeah, you want to make sure you try to clean out your grapevine. Uh because I wouldn't want to deliver it to my customer. And it just, as soon as she picks it up, stuff just starts falling out of it. So I cleaned it and gave it a haircut. I think that's what we need. We need some more of the little daisies. And y'all, I'm sorry, but I get quiet. It's because I'm concentrating. That's the only time I usually get quiet. I am a talker. I am a talker. What else is going on out there? I see we got about 12 people on. I'm not sure where everybody is today. Maybe it's just too early. Too early in the morning for creativity. I'm a morning person. I am a morning person. I like to get up and get going. We need another color back there. Right in here, but it's going to have to be a smaller flower. What else have I got in my stash? Actually, could put one right in here. Yeah, I love my glue pot. That glue pot is it's nice. You don't uh, have glue drips that are burning your fingers. Okay, so I need a little bit of something going on in here. Let's see if we want to add maybe a little bit more greenery in there.
What you thinking, Judy? It's looking good. Thank you, Casey. Don't you? I love my daughter's sign on here. Yeah. Of course, you're going to have glue strings. You know, everything's all over the place, but you can't help that. That's just part of it. You know, Judy, I'll make sure I clean it up for you before I put it in the mail or before I ship it. Um, I was, like I said, I was real sad with my with my little, my little daisies that came in because, you know, they didn't look like they had been taken care of very well when they got packed. But I know I want some more. This is big, Judy. This is ended up in a really large wreath. Were you going to put this on your front door? Because, yeah, it's, uh, it's getting pretty large. Where were you going to put it? Hey, Jane. Yeah, Jane. Jane loves the grapevines, too. She bought one of my grapevines. And like I said, I'm, I'm having more fun making them. And I'm looking for some holes in it where I need to put something else. I know we need a few more little ones on the bottom. I think we've got enough of the sunflowers. Got glue strings going across Casey's sign. Get a few more little ones going on down here. I love how these look up here. I just wished I could find another spot that they would look good. Hmm. But I'm really just not seeing it. Yeah, not really seeing those. Not feeling those at all. Sorry, I'm gonna jump in front again here. What do we? What do you say, Judy? Should we put another pretty red one in there? I think the reds gives it just a little bit more variety. It'll kind of make it more balanced, too, if we have another red one in here. We could put a red one down in this corner. And, Judy, there's possibilities <laughs> that I may make changes uh, on this after, we, after I see it all. Let's see what this would look like if we put it in here. I think I like that bottom corner the best. Oh, I don't know. That looks good there, too. Let's see what it looks like over here. Yeah, I think I kind of like that also. Let's try it down here. I'm not sure. What do you think, Judy? You like the red one on the bottom corner. Thank you. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was trying to decide. Did it need to go down there in that bottom co uh, corner or there on the other side? All right, let's get a few more of the little daisies in here. You know, 
know, these really aren't hard to make. Uh, and they're not as time consuming as the um, deco mesh is. You just, you know, I'm still trying to learn how to keep it, you know, keep it lively. I think I have more than enough flowers in here, don't you, Judy? Hey, Suzette. Hey, Rick. I see my husband on here. Um, yeah, I begin to think I have plenty of florals in there. Just maybe fill it in with a little bit more greenery. Let's see. Still kind of wanted something else right up in here. Now, also for greenery, I have this. It just says it's a another Gerb, Gerber bush. And I believe I got this from, I think this came from Hobby Lobby. Um, you know, I might could use a little bit more of that to fill in a few little places because the greenery always makes it come to life. And the sign is so perfect, Casey. It just really works on this perfectly. A little green right up in here around that bow. And we need a little something up here. Maybe coming out of that bow, put little piece, another little piece of greenery up there. Just a little piece. I might could put another one of those these up coming out of here. I do plan to make another uh, ladybug wreath, and I have the ladybug and the sign in, and I just think they're going to be so adorable. Let me just show them off. Here is kind of going to be like the bee wreath. Here's our sign made by Casey and the little ladybug. So I think this is going to be super, super cute. Um, yeah, I think, Casey, I think that this this sign was meant to wait for this wreath because, you know, there just hadn't been anything else on it that um, I had, that I saw so far that I was wanting to use her sign for until Judy sent me this. This is a little trick, y'all. It's just a, a six inch, six inch roll that uh, mesh came off of, and this is how you can Take your ribbon and make it curl. You just take it and just wrap it around this little tube. And that makes your pretty curls. All right, I know there's probably a few more little gaps that I'm probably gonna put some more stuff in off camera. Um, but I think for the most part, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna walk in front of y'all about three more times, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop on this for now and probably do the rest um, off camera. I think I need to find some smaller, maybe some smaller little yellow flowers. But other than that, maybe put some more greenery, a little bit more down here, some of the smaller. Flowers, but I think for the most part, I think we're done. What What do y'all think? Judy, what do you think? Can y'all get a good look at it? It's definitely one of your favorites. Thank you, Casey. I do too. I wouldn't have any problem at all putting this one on my door. I think it's pretty for summer. Like I said, this uh, this greenery here, it's just going to catch in the breeze, and it's going to give your wreath life, so I think it would be perfect. I hope you wanted one this large, Judy. It's not what you ordered, I know, but thank you for letting me do one, a full one, because I've never done one before. Thank y'all. Hey, y'all. Okay. Um... Anybody got any questions? Thank you again 
for joining me today. Let me try to get my, my face in here for a second. Um, if you like what you see me doing, I would really appreciate it if you would um, like and share my post. Um, I also have a YouTube channel that I'm trying to build my followers there. Uh, same name, Val's Visions and Designs. Um, I have an Etsy shop, Val Visions and Design. It's singular, but um, I really would appreciate if you would share my lives and share my post, help me build my business. So um, I know that this was a short one today. It's I did a lot of it ahead of time because I don't want to keep everybody on here for such a long time, but I, I definitely do appreciate you guys. When I get it through, um, I will post another picture of the finished wreath before I send it out. Um, it's okay. <laughs> you were fluffing your spring wreath. Thank you, Suzette. Um, again, if you have a custom order, something that you would like, you have a sign that like, you know, you've, you had a sign like this one and you want a wreath to go with it. Or if you have a favorite color or a favorite flower or a favorite mesh color, I love making customs and I'll be more than happy to make a custom wreath for you. So anyway, y'all have a great day. Stay safe. And I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.